Good morning. This morning we're going to be doing a little bit of butter chicken, no chicken with chickpeas. Okay, so this is a vegetarian version of butter chicken and I've sort of tweaked it a little bit to include some vegetables and chickpeas, my favourite <laughs> course and um, we're just going to go with that so I'm just waiting for this butter to heat up and then we're going to saute the onions mm. so that'll take a minute just might do some yoga while we're waiting I've been practicing all this yoga poses you know warrior and um, downward dog and planking and cat and cow and cobra yeah it's pretty good and now I'm doing some really fancy moves where I'm opening up the oh, chest and closing them down while I'm in some new fandangled pose of such yeah it's pretty good I really love it so anyway I'm just waiting for this to heat up a little bit more and we'll throw the onions in I'll just check that temperature now it's starting to bubble away. So we'll pop in the onion and saute that for three minutes. We've had a lot of rain here, Queensland. And it's been really, really nice. Okay, I'll let that do its thing. So I'm just checking for the ones that have died. And as you can see, there's a discolored one there. And that's the one that's died. So you just take it out and, um, you know, I check them before I boil them. I just lift them up and over and over and you go all the way around the pot lifting them up and over and then you go through the middle and just find any of the ones that have died and take them out and then you're ready to cook it's about three minutes they're looking lovely and translucent so at this point I'll throw in the ginger the garlic uh, the garam masala a little bit of red um, chili powder. No, this isn't chili. Which one's the chili? That one looks like the chili. Check that one in. This one's the cayenne. Okay, so a bit of cayenne. So there's a little bit of spice and heat in there. And then I've got cumin. Mine's got a little bit of a mixture of cumin and um, coriander in it. So, yeah a little bit of a mix there. Now I'll just stir this around and wait for that. Oh, I can already smell it. It's so beautiful. I might whack in just a little bit more butter here. Okay, so I'm just adding a, probably enough, once you can really smell it. I've got a a bottle of tomato sauce here but this one has a little bit of flavoring in but you can use any flavoring um it says just plain tomato sauce but this one's got a bit of red wine in it and um it's all i had in the cupboard so <laughs> i'm using it all those through there. 
Oh, it's, it's spicy. <laughs> but really, really yummy looking. Yum. Okay, I'm just going to bring that back to the simmer for five minutes. So just turn it down a little bit. We don't want that burning on the bottom. Just let it simmer down. Mm -hmm. Oh, wish you could smell this. It's just so beautiful. Yeah. Alright, we'll just leave that and come back in a minute and see how we're going with that, shall we? Um, no, I don't want the vegetables. Oh. Okay, and so I've got, I'll just to show you my vegetables, I've got pumpkin, which I'll just strain, and what I've done is I've just blanched them um, quickly, just for, um, you know, six minutes or so. I've also done the sweet potato. And I've got a little bit of sweet potato out of my garden, which was a Hawaiian one. It just came up when I was ripping some leaves up. I am going down into the garden shortly to get some uh, vine. So I'm going to get some sweet potato vine and some kale. Just, you know, a few more greens. I've got a little bit of broccoli and some peas to go in there, which is very... Um, probably what you would think unusual for a butter chicken no butter <laughs> no chicken i mean for a butter chicken no chicken uh but anyway i'm just going to leave these and quickly run downstairs while this is cooking for five minutes to go and get those vegetables so i'll be back in a minute okay so that's back to the simmer there so i'm going to put in the coconut cream mm -mm, that looks beautiful just flush that out with a little bit of aquafaba, which I kept from the chickpeas. That'll just wash that can out nicely. Okay, just mix it around and bring that back up to a boil. I'm just going to turn that up a little bit. Okay, I might just have a little taste here. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Yummy. Alright, so I'm just waiting for that to come back up to the heat before we throw the vegetables in. While I'm doing that, I'm just over here and I'm um, washing all the vegetables that I just picked. And then we'll come back to here and and start adding them so here's the vegetables this is the cardoon and it's um got this big leafy beautiful uh, lettuce like almost uh leaves and then i've got my black kale and of course in here just washing these beautiful sweet potato leaves which i'll pull off yeah so that that all will be going and i'll dry it up first i'll just pull this over the top and just um Pat it down, let it dry a little bit before I pop it in. Right, so that's simmering away nicely. That's probably been a few minutes. So I'm going to put in the sweet potato and pumpkin. Ooh, this pot might not be big enough. 
I'll have to change it to another pot. I have gone a little bit beyond the required <laughs> um, recipe. It's sort of my own, I've done my own thing and I've, yeah, my pot's not big enough now, so I'm going to have to change this. I might have to put it into a bigger pot. In fact, I know I'm going to have to. All right, we'll do that now, shall we? <laughs> Right, so change it over. This is going to be interesting. That was beautiful. Woohoo! Right, not the usual conventional thing. I'd say if you weren't cooking as much, you'd um, you know, be able to do a. If you're just using chicken, that would be, you know, the small wok. I do have a bigger wok, but I kept some of the aquafaba. And I had a cup full over, so I'm just going to add that in and that will just give a little bit more um, fluidicity, if that's a word. It sounded good when I said it, it's probably a word, I don't know. Anyway, it makes it more runny. I'm telling you that tastes really, really good. So I'm really happy with the way this is going. Right, okay, so that's all beautiful, it's bubbling away nicely. So I think I'll start putting the greens in now. And so I've got some frozen peas. You know, you don't have to put all these vegetables in if you don't want to. Some broccoli. putting in all my greens which is my sweet potato and my kale and after that at the end we'll go in my kadoon and I'm leaving the kadoon till last because it really just needs to be blanched very quickly it doesn't need uh, heat through whereas I prefer these ones heating through especially the leaves of the sweet potato because they're sometimes a little bit bitter if you don't get them a good cook. Most of the ones I pick, I try to pick the young ones and that way they're, um, they're already sweeter. <gasps> the concentration I have, because this is just looking so beautiful. We soak the chickpeas overnight and cook them this morning in the pressure cooker so in they go two cups because they're already cooked they just need to be tossed through as well so this will be good for freezing and reheating and so that's why you don't cook the sweet potato or the pumpkin too much because otherwise it just uh, falls apart. So when you're reheating, you can cook it as long as you like. If you like it a little bit softer, you cook it a little bit more. But before the freezing, you don't have to overcook it, that's for sure. So that looks nice. And I'm just going to whack in this cardoon. And it's really leafy and beautiful. And that'll just go in, stir it quickly through, bring that back up to the boil and let it just have a last minute simmer. For say two minutes, I think you'd only need about two minutes, maybe three. Ta -da! Oh, and one more thing, you've got that little bit of butter at the end, so I'll whack that through as well. A couple of tablespoons there just, um, and I've got a lime but I'm not going to put it through now what I'll do is when I dish it up I'll just you know squeeze a little bit out um, into the serving dish that I serve it with and that way the lime will be fresh and you know acid and beautiful and that looks gorgeous
If the flavor is too intense, of course, you can um, put a little bit more of the coconut cream in, or you can put some um, a besom, uh, something like that in, which will just thicken it up, but also give it a little bit more of a um, help with that minimizing the flavor of the spices. But I think you won't find this curry too hot. I'll just do another taste test, I think, and see how we're going with that flavor, because now all those other flavors have joined in with the symphony. We'll just check it out. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is going to be brilliant. Serve it with some rice or some roti or some rice uh, noodle. I like it with the rice noodle. I think that, that's always good too. Anyway, I'll cook that down for a little bit longer and then uh, serve it up. Right, I've cooked some rice, so we'll have a look at that and we'll dish up. So I've got a little bowl. I don't want a lot of this, so I'll just save some there. And pop this beautiful chickpea butter chicken, no chicken. And I'm just going to cut a little bit of lime here and just serve it on the side. And that looks really, really yummy. So I'll give it a... It looks really, really yummy, actually. Mmm. That is so nice. And the veggies, you know, you've got all your vitamin C, all your iron, you know, calcium, all sorts of stuff in there. Mmm. Just put a little bit of lime through there. Smell. Mm -mm. So if you're out camping and um, you want something to cook from scratch but doesn't have a lot of recipe ingredients, this is probably one of those beautiful meals that you can just freeze a couple of batches and keep in the fridge for later and enjoy or share with other people. So. Anyway, who's coming to dinner? Ciao for now.